Do you receive products or services from overseas vendors whom you continuously owe a balance to? Well, then you should learn about how to use the multi-currency feature when dealing with accounts payable. The Accounts Payable feature in QuickBooks is only necessary when you owe money directly to the vendors who, you, who perform services for you. Usually, you need to continuously owe them for more than one month's worth of service or bills in order to benefit from using the Enter Bills, Pay Bills window in the Accounts Payable feature in QuickBooks. So why is this an accounts payable issue? Well, that's because on the day you receive the service from the vendor, the dollar amount of the currency you owe is based on the exchange rate on the day of service or product delivery. And that should be the date of the bill. So let's imagine that you got a bill for 10,000 Guyana dollars and on that day, that bill and those 10,000 were worth 80 US dollars. Now let's imagine on the day you go to pay the vendor's bill, the value of that same currency is different because exchange rates change every day. Well, in a case like that, you would have a gain or loss on the exchange at the moment you use the pay bills window to pay the bill to the international vendor. For example, let's imagine on April 2nd you received delivery service from Gina Casina and a bill for the service in the amount of 10,000 Guyanese dollars and it was bill number 8472. The Guyana dollar was worth only 0 .008 US dollars at the moment we received the service and the bill. So what will be the result? Well, we know that accounts payable Guyana dollars will show up for the first time as 80 US dollars because that's 0 .008 of 10,000. So the equivalent of US dollars that you owe will be $80 for the service you received. And because you owed $80, that means you received a service worth $80. And because it was delivery service that you received, delivery expense will increase by $80 US dollars and become $738.40. From the top left, we click New, go to the column of Vendors, and click Bill. Now the date is April 2nd and the vendor is Gina Casina. The Guyanese dollar was worth 0 0.008 US dollars at the moment we received the service and therefore entered the bill and the bill is delivery expense. So we put in the amount of the bill in terms of Guyana dollars, Guyanese dollars, and that's all you have to do to record it. It's the same like recording anything else, and it gives you the appropriate totals in the bottom right. Now, click Save and Close, and when we click Reports, Trial Balance, you can see the results are exactly as what we expected. We owe the equivalent of 80 US dollars to Gina Casina in the new accounts payable for Guyana dollar and our delivery expense increased to $738.40. And let's imagine on April 8th we transferred in enough money from the Chase bank account to the Guyana bank account to be able to pay the whole bill from Gina Casina. On April 8th, 
the Guyana dollar was worth only 0 0.007 of the U.S. dollar. So, to make sure that we transfer 10,000 Guyana dollars, we deposited and transferred 70 U.S. dollars into our Guyana bank account, and that became 10,000 Guyana dollars that we will then pay from. So what will be the result just after transferring the money? Well, the Bank of Guyana increases to 70 U.S. dollars because that's what the 10,000 Guyana dollars were worth at the moment we transferred it. And if 70 U.S. dollars transferred to the Guyana Bank, that means the Chase Bank account here in America decreased by $70 and becomes $2,493 at the moment we transfer the 10,000 units of currency at 0 .007. So these will be the results after the transfer on April 8th. From the top left, click New, go over to Other, and click Transfer. The date of the transfer is April 8th and we're transferring from the Chase Bank in U.S. to the Bank of Guyana and the rate of exchange or conversion on that date is 0 .007 and the amount in terms of Guyana dollars in terms of the account we're transferring to 10,000. So we're transferring the equivalent of 70 US dollars because it's 10,000 Guyana dollars at 0 .007. When we click Save and Close, the results, when we click Reports, Trial Balance, are exactly as what we expected. Bank of Guyana now has a balance of $70 and our Chase Bank decreased to $2,493. Now let's continue the example and on the same day, April 8, we actually pay Gina the 10,000 Guyanese dollars that we owe her. So at the moment we pay, on the same day of the transfer, what is the gain? Well, we originally owed 80 US dollars because that was what it was worth when we got the bill. But at the moment we pay, we only owe 70 US dollars because the 10,000 Guyana dollars that we owe are now only worth 70 US dollars. So the decrease per Guyana dollar is 0 .001, and that means that when we go to pay this bill, we will have a gain of 10 US dollars because we actually owe $10 less from the moment we owed the money till the moment we paid as a result of the exchange gain. So what will be the result after we, after we pay? Well, both the Bank of Guyana and Accounts Payable Guyana should both become zero. Bank of Guyana becomes zero because we gave all 10,000 units to Gina. And Accounts Payable Guyana should become zero because we gave all 10,000 units to Gina. But we had a $10 gain which will increase our net gain or loss on exchange and it will become $31.50. Let's go ahead and pay the bill. From the top left, we click New, Pay Bills. Now it may look like you don't have any bills to pay. But if you change the currency from dollar to Guyana dollar, you can see that this is the bill that we entered a moment ago. Now we put the pay date, which is April 8th, and you have to click the check mark if you're paying the entire bill. So the money is coming from the Bank of Guyana, and you're paying the entire bill, all 10,000 Guyana dollars. But now, this is a slight problem. Do you see this? I have a problem right here, and then let's see if we can work together to solve it. You see, 
This is kind of weird. My QuickBooks Online might not be working correctly today because there's no place on the screen to input the exchange rate at the moment of the bill payment. If I look very closely at each of the different fields in the entire window, maybe if I max it out, nope, scroll down, right, move this to the over, there, nothing, nothing. I don't see a field where I can enter the exchange rate, you see. So what I'm going to have to do instead is save it with the wrong number and you'll get all kinds of crazy results, but then reopen it. And when you reopen the bill payment, or at least when I reopen the bill payment, there's a little box there for me to put in the exchange rate and that will fix everything.